is Hype Knees, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome, er, what, well, yeah, well, my name is Hyper Himes, and welcome to the 21st episode of Terraria. In the last episode, we went to hell, and we got a bunch of hellstone, and made ourselves a couple new gear. And this episode, what we're gonna do, is we're going to, considering that it's about to turn night right now, and we don't have much time, we have to run to Skeletron. Let me just reorganize my items real quick. We have potions on deck. We have pumpkin pie, which gives us minor improvements to all stats for 45 entire minutes. We also, I found out that you can make iridescent blocks. Uh, and basically, they're stone combined with ash blocks. But I'm ready to take on Skeletron, and there's not a thing he can do about it. And I believe in myself. I believe that with the power of my minions... And beautiful, beautiful Fantasia over here. We can beat Skeletron. This time. And trust me. We will win. Whether it kills me or not. Uh, summon you. Come on, we only have a limited amount of time left. I know my well fed is there. It's done. Okay. We're over here now. Here. Alright. Gotta make a nice elongated platform just to make sure that I can get out better. Gotta be 100% sure of all this. I will win. It's true. It's really true. Absolutely true. Okay. Uh, torch. Torch. It's night. Alright. Alchemy table. Uh, defeat my master. I will grant you passage to the dungeon. Sure can do. Let's go. Buff and bees. Okay. Okay, shoot the hands, shoot the hands, focus. We have a bunch of mobility on our side. They just gotta keep focusing on the hands, bees. Keep focusing on them hands. He's gonna give us the slaps, but we're gonna give him the works. Oh, look at this. Oh, this bundle of balloons gives give us so much more mobility. One hand's almost down. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see those skills? Those were skills unlike any other. Okay, he's, he's firing skulls. He's taking down walls. He's using his own children against us. Summon more bees against him. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. He's setting fires. He's going everywhere. He's got his hands all up in our business. Trying to poke me and stuff like that. It ain't gonna work for him, you know that. And he knows that for a fact. Now he's going crazy. He's gonna try and do everything in his power to stop us. But he knows that it's not gonna work. He's know for a fact that it won't work. Because with the power of all these bees. And not only that, but the bee gun. The bee's knees. And also the high pack. It's going to increase their strength of bees. And not only are there going to be bees flying out of his mouth. But they're going to be flying out of his ears. Out of his eyes. Out of his jawbone. Out of everything he has to offer. Before he can even say, ouch, that stings. And I can't believe I'm doing this much of a hype commentary, because I'm so hyped, because he thought he could get the upper hand on us this time. But I guess in the end, I was having a laugh at my funny bone that that joke didn't work. But, the, but Skeletron has been defeated. And I don't even think I need the potions for it. But now we got the treasure bag we can open. Three, two, one, boom. Hey, we got the Skeletron mask. And also a bone glove, which... Uh... Throws bones? That's strange. But, what does this mean? We have a very special thing we can do now. We can go inside of this dungeon. Inside of the dungeon, people. So, that's really cool. So, let's adventure down into the depths of something that we never even explored yet. Let's move. And there are a couple specific items that you can get inside of the dungeon. Oh, actually, maybe I should have shown you what happens if you go down here without defeating, defeating Skeletron. I'll show that in a later episode, though. So, you got traps here. You got spikes, which if you touch them, they hurt like frick. And then, oh! Loot! So, what this is, it's a bewitching table. And if you right-click, you can get more minions. So, if I right-click, I can summon another imp. 
And what this wooden chest is, it's like any other wooden chest, but since it's inside a dungeon, a golden key, which open one gold or dungeon chest. And we can take that first off, along with the other rest of the loot. So I'll also take the chest, just for safekeeping. And also, these mobs, enemies in here, they're pretty strong, so don't underestimate their strength. Especially, oh, look at that guy. So, we're just going to fill the halls with bees. That's my plan. Fill in the place with bees until they need bee repellent or something like that. Raid. Something like that. Exterminator. How do you guys get rid of insects? Do you use raid? I, I personally use something known as in exterminator. Which is basically raid. Which, you know, kills insects, kills roaches. Oh, let me take you for the keeping, Mr... Uh, person who's playing the Elder Scrolls 5. Shout outs to him, though. Because that's a nice game. And my inventory is already getting full. You know what? That's fine. No, don't summon him. It's a good thing we have this. Plenty of room in our... Actually, I'll drink that. And that. Piggy make. Also, those enemies that we just fought? Yeah, they drop bones. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, put that in there. The iron. Bone club. I don't need the rope. I'm already stacked on rope. So, let's continue. We can get these banners that actually. This is a decoration. It's a wall skeleton. Spooky! I like how that's the first thing I scream. Spooky! And I'm pretty sure there's a bound person in here that we can find. It may take a little bit though. Uh, I should have made more housing. Uh, you know what? I'll do that. I will do that soon. Most likely in the next episode. Because we're already down here already, so why not just explore whatever we can? Because there's some exciting things we can find in here. Uh, torch. 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 Oh, hey, look. A dungeon slime. If you, now, dungeon slimes are interesting. You can kill them, and every time that you kill them, they always drop a golden key. Now we have two of them. Now, you might be asking, what's the point of these golden keys? Even though I saw the description of them not too long ago. I haven't seen one single thing that these are good for. Oh wait, hey! Found mechanic! Thanks. It was just a matter of time before I ended up like the rest of the skeletons down here. Now she actually sells some interesting things, like things that you can wire and connect. It's actually really cool what you can do with this, some of the stuff. But, for now, soon enough, I gotta make her a housing. Because I'm scared that she's probably not gonna make it. Hmm, I wonder if I can do anything about that. No, 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 I'll let you walk freely. I'm not here to contain you. Take this. Anyway, what were you saying? Oh yeah, you were saying something about I haven't seen one single thing you can use the golden keys on. Ah. Uh, now you open this, and you can get one of a plenty different dungeon items. And this time we got the Aqua Scepter. An interesting little item which sprays out a shower of water. If we put down our Valethorn, which basically it's like the same thing, just more water. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that power. Look at that power. Oh, someone's firing at us. We gotta make a move for it. Give me that statue. And give me that press plate. He's gotta be somewhere. Uh. Ooh. What the heck? Let me put you out. Fire and water. Oh, this is cool. Light him a flame and then burn him. Ooh, gold. And another golden key. Oh! Mark this down, definitely with torches. That's important. That's a jungle chest that we can only open in hard mode. And it's another dungeon chest. The Muramasa. Alright, basically the Muramasa is a really fast sword. A fast and decently powered sword. Not as fast as the Arakalis, but really useful. Speaking of which, I gotta make sure I mine these golden chests just so I know that I've already marked them down and got them. Ooh, this item is important too. So basically, this is an, uh, no, hold on. I'm doing with some enemies over here. This is an alchemy table. This is important for potion making because while you can't right click on it and stuff like that, this has a 33% chance not to consume potion crafting ingredients. That's great for us to consume things, especially things that will take a lot of potion ingredients in the near future. But above all, so we'll see you. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to end the episode here. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Another chest with a blue moon. Now, the blue moon is basically a spike and ball, a ball and chain, actually, 
which is actually a pretty cool weapon. I personally don't use it. Back in the past, I really used to love ball and chain weapons, but there, I guess I guess I guess I just evolved from them in a way. Oh, bone welder, which is used for special crafting, aka crafting with bones. Let me just set, make let's put everything in here first. Uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, oh, we also got a clothier voodoo doll, which is uh, you are a terrible person, which basically it attacks someone that's gonna move in later in the future and. You probably guessed by now. Yes, it's a clothier. A oh, nice knockback you got, uh, Aqua Scepter. Man, I really, really never appreciate that. I'm putting everything in the plebbing. Ah, what am I thinking? I'm trying to talk to the piggy bank. Yes, there we go. That's what I mean. Store this, that, 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 Ow. Get out of here. The spawn rates in here, I will admit, they aren't kind. They are kind of brutal, to be honest. Okay, what can I get away? I, I'm going to keep these torches just in case. Uh, glow sticks. Uh, throw away some. Uh, did I put in the bones here? I guess I can keep them now. I will drink this for some reason. I think I cleared up my inventory space. Uh, do we have any more golden keys? No. And there's two right next to each other. So... Maybe a mob can drop. I think a normal enemies have a low chance of dropping. Oh my gosh, look at all these enemies. Which means, look what I can do. Spray them with water. Look at this. Look at this. Look how fun this is. This is fun for the whole family. Fun for the whole family. Another clothier voodoo doll? Don't mind if I do. More bewitching tables? Don't mind if I do. Getting attacked? That's when I mind. Little plebs. Oh yeah, and those are uh, blazing wheels. You can't kill them, but they're basically like a trap. And by trap, I mean, uh, you know, like a booby trap. Where it's it's kind of like a, uh, you know, saw blades. It's kind of like that. That just rotate around. Oh yeah, by the way, we're gonna get paintings in here. That one's called the catacomb, or just catacomb. Let me get rid of these blue candles because I think that's a big thing that factors into uh, mob spawn. Oh, you see that? Now, it's hard to see, but that's a blue book. And if you don't know what a blue book is, it's a water bolt. That is a ma that's another magic weapon. And what this does, you shoot things with water bolt. And they bounce around like crazy. They're actually really helpful for some boss. Hey, look, another water bolt. Beautiful, a nibble water bolt. Nice. Interesting. Oh, granted, it kind of scares me because it makes me think that's the skeleton shooting. But luckily, it's not. It's just my own. That's how I know it'd be, it, that, that'd be a scope and shooting, because, you know, slower balls, basically. Whoa, I just burped intensely. Never mind this. Bird statue. Great. I got a wood shelf. I don't need it. No, place right here just because. Alright. Oh, whoa, look at these enemies. Oh, man, this place is... Saying that this place is small is not true. I, I'm not even going to tell you that's an understatement. That's not true at, in the slightest. Uh, all these. I think these skeleton things, uh, these little bone bases, they also have a chance of dropping uh, golden keys. But I think it's small. So let's hope we can find something down here. And enter the skeleton water party. Who's here to party with some water? Everyone shout, put your hands in the air, say hey -o. Pretty, oh yeah, by the way, uh, light switches, they exist, but they uh, don't do much. Another two skeleton spikes and freaking dart trap, and now I'm angry! Oh, don't you dare lag on me. Let me break this whole place up. Let me get you out of the fray. Let me get this button out of the fray, because you two are playing working together like an evil, evil duo. People do a plebs, let me tell you. Another one. Really? Where are you shooting from? All the way over here? Hmm, I wonder. A little hidden piece of trash. Whew. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Chris got him. Now basically, if those things attack you, or they hit you, there's a small chance that you can be silent. Which means that if you are silent, you cannot attack or use any of your tools. Does it suck? Oh, absolutely it does. 
Oh, there was a dart shop right there. That's it's a good thing I drunk that dangerous potion. Man, all these things appearing. Like I said, spawn rate is not kind in this place. It will be the complete opposite of kind. Okay, get rid of that. Oh, go rain havoc. I don't even have a golden key to open this. And I'm mad because I got a bunch of golden keys before, and now I don't. Makes me angry. Give me that water candle. At least I can loot anything else that's in the dungeon. And I'll take whatever I can get. This place. If you thought the jungle was hectic, and if you thought hell was terrible, dungeon, man. Boy, howdy do, is the dungeon hard. D hard, long, and playing tedious with how many people show up. Oh, we'll get rid of you. People who can cast magic, anything that you can think of, they'll just be there. Big boys, small boys, magic casting boys, laser boys, trap boys. Everyone is here to the party. It's like Smash Ultimate. Can I get like one key, please? I don't want to feel the need to farm for them. Like, granted, this technically might be the whole episode. Because it's basically focusing on, this is the dungeon, everyone. Expect how hard it's going to be. This is what you will expect. And to be honest, I'm not mad at showing an episode like that. What I'm mad about is all these... Why am I not using my B-weapons? That's why. Because they're being crazy. I already defeated 50 of those angry plebs. Seriously. I thought something dropped from them, too. Oh, it was just a banner. No, never mind. It, it, it's fine. Heesh. Any sense of decency you would have, you would just be dead already. How are skeletons even alive? Life's biggest mystery is right here. Terraria skeletons. How even? I'm, I'm fine though. I'm not. I'm not. They can jump. Come on. Get you out of here. That's apparently a death trap room. Uh, be careful with your jumping. Break that. Hearts? No hearts. No hearts. Uh, just shoot up. Just shoot up. Shoot up. Reflect. Reverse. Reverse. Oh, this is terrifying. I don't... I still don't have a golden key. <laughs> no. No. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. Oh, my gosh. Look at them all up there. Get... Die, please. Oh, this is hectic. Uh, my dangerous potion is off, so I can't see any more traps. It's an absolute good thing I drunk that, like... At the first instant that I saw it, though. You got any more served for me, or no? To be honest, I'll take anything that you got for me. I can't even raid this entire place, because not only is my inventory getting full, but I can't even raid much. Okay, this is a dead end, because I don't have a golden key for it. And okay, they just decided to put a spike ball over here. Oh, really? 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 Ow. This sucks. No! Alright. Money trail. Because if I die, take my money. Oh, wait. I can heal. Oh, great. Come on, please. I'll take anything just to survive from this underground place. I mean, yeah, I could go back to, like, home and heal, but, like, I want to be still here. I need to... If you want to be a pro-adventurer... Loot like I am. Risk your life for loot. Lufus, loot, Lufa. What is a Lufa? The things that you shower with? You right? I still. Oh, thank you, Dungeon Slime. You are a lifesaver, friend. Is there any golden chest I can get? I can get that one at the bottom, so I don't have to worry about. I could get the ones near, but what's with the flaming wheels? Like, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, I can get this one. It's closer, and I'm pretty sure I can still get something new out of it. I got another Muran Masa. Well, that sucks. Should have opened the bottom one. You're going to hear a lot of do, 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 because it's plenty bees. 
I wonder if I can store some stuff quickly. Close the door on him. You can't open the door. You can break it down. Okay. Nice. Uh, get away. Oh my gosh, I never realized how terrifying this place was. Store, 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 store. I'm like panicking over here. And you think I'm over exaggerating? No. No. No, I'm not. I'm not over exaggerating at all. This is just how I actually feel being in a space where many people can attack you. And not only is, it, not only is this a space where many people can attack you, it's a space where not only many people can attack you, but you don't know where they come from. You just never know. They'll randomly teleport to you. They'll come in packs. They'll come in packs at packs, east or west. And it's just painful. Irritating. Yeah. Horrifying. Yeah. Scary? Eh, not really, but... In some cases, yeah, actually. And, and this thing is just having a party of a lifetime. What if I break the block that, that thing's on? At least, I don't think I'm going to be able to test it. They drop... <gasps> the golden key! Like I said, they have a low chance to drop golden keys. I wonder if I, uh... Oh, it just shortens. What happens? Oh, it just disappears. Okay, now we know. Interesting. But we have a golden key now. Let me get rid of that dark caster. Get rid of you people too? Because you are evil skeletons. I only know like two nice skeletons in life. Maybe three. In fact, there's actually quite the couple. But it's hard to explain. Another spike and ball. Not what I wanted, but at least I don't have to go back down here again. The only silver lining I can take from this. I don't have to go back down this area. But I have to get those two golden shit. Oh, I could go down there, actually. Let's give it a try. And may involve massive death. But it may involve massive treasure. So it's risk for reward. Oh, I thought that was another skeleton boy. But no, it's just a plebbing uh, orb friend. Yo-yo, get him out of here. I don't really use that, my yo-yo much, and I should... Oh, another one. Dump. Nope. Nope. Bees! Shoot them everywhere. Plebbing lag got me. But, this is a... I think this is a corruption chest. Yeah. Now, you may be wondering... I, you might have been wondering, but if you are... You may have been wondering, but... If there's a corruption chest in this world, then how is it going to work with the corruption crimson? Well, since corruption is in this world and not crimson, it will give you the corruption chest. If there's crimson in the world, there will be the crimson chest. So what we could do is that after, uh, you know, you know, finding the chest and all that stuff, then what we can do is we can open up the crimson chest in that world as well. So it's a nice cause. Oh my gosh, give me this slime down there. I need that slime. Did it die? Did it despawn? Oh, please tell me you didn't despawn. I think you have, I, how did it even despawn? I was only like up there for like a couple seconds. Not even a couple seconds, like just one second. Unless if it happened to not drop the key, but that's not the case because if I right click, it doesn't work. That sucks. Gotta be sh sh taking my rage out on a lot more of these skeletons. And also I guess kneeing the microphone. Okay, thank you for the hearts, at least. And it's gonna be a chest down here. Yep, of course. Did I see a slime? Thought I saw a slime. Dang, I thought I saw a slime. Boom. Oh, uh, big. Anything for... Uh, okay. Ow. Dang it. Filled with water. My one, my one arch nemesis. Large bodies of water. With spooky creatures inside of them. Big fear. Actually, one of my big fears. Hey, look, a free bomb. You think it'd be counterproductive to hide bombs in your place because then I can just literally take them and use them against you. What are you even using the bombs for? Decoration? Fireworks? Because you're out, even though I don't know why you would want to use bombs instead of fireworks because they're relatively cheaper, somehow more safe, and not illegal. Well, unless if you're one of the hardcore people who buy the illegal fireworks 
who, which have a high risk of like death. But that's how you can prove you're a hardcore person. When you buy them illegal ones. Do I recommend it? Not really, but... If you do you, then you can do you. I don't judge people. Haven't you remembered back in the... Uh, uh, what was it? Spike Slot when I said being short is good? It actually is. Short people are cool. Short people are swell. Short people can treat other short people very well. Is this really the whole... There's no way. There's got to be another... Over there. Up there. To treasures. To adventure. To loot. To quest. To be the very best. Like no one ever was. And this ain't even Pokemon. So I know what my cause is. And that's to fill the world with bees. I guess. I have any golden keys yet. Hunter. Archery. Does archery potion help with beat? Oh, definitely does. I'm, I'm not even going to ask that anymore. And immediately replace that with an answer. It does. Boom. Big damage. Golden key! Do we have a golden chest near? Do we have a golden chest near us? Do we have a, do we have a golden chest R us? A golden chest R us. That'd be... Quite the interesting. That'd be a place that would sell like high quality. Look at all these tombs and crypts, catacomb thingies. Oh, chest. It's another aqua scepter. We're just finding the same. I promise you, it's not these three same items. I swear, there's more. I just hate having the fact that I can get repeats. We just shoot a bunch of bees. What's this skeleton block? Oh, block. So it's blocked by a simple block. And I thought you were strong. Be party. There we go. If you're always if you're always in a case of peril, kids, bees. Trust me. Let bees fight for you. They're like a bone wand. These basically place bones. Pretty rare item, but it's cool that we have that now. So I don't wonder if I need it in the future. Come on, just try and break through. Yeah, you were getting met with bees, son. Bees. Oh, yeah? You want to fall down there? Big mistake, bub. Gonna... Oh, my gosh, they're fighting back. Protect me. Oh, now you're up there now, huh? Up here? You want to drop some freaking firepower? There. I'm calm now. We drink this and continue on. Oh my gosh, he's right next to me. Terrifying. Let me break the bed. I don't want to set my spawn point here. Oh my. Look at this place! I'm screaming! Dark Scepter! I don't need ropes! Angry bonus! Don't you dare! Does this count as a water candle? Does it? No way. Well, I gotta throw out something. I gotta throw out something. Throwing daggers. Uh, where'd I put it? Uh, pink dungeon lamp. I don't know. Oh my gosh, this is the worst. Do I have storage? Shoot some bees up there. Nope, down there now. Eh. Oink, oink, oink. Store everything. Store whatever I can. This is way more stressful than it looks. Trust me. I just got silent there because I didn't know what to do. Okay. Adventure awaits once again. There's going to be a golden chest down here, I think. No, there ain't. I was wrong, but hey, I guess in a ways that kind of means it's more safe. Hard to explain, yes. In a way, understandable, kinda. Let me just keep dwelling down into the unknown depths below. In light unknown depths, we gotta break this pressure plate. 
and also break the star trap. Eh, there we go. Hey, get over here. Come on, buddy. You know you want this. I mean, well, you know you want it, but did I give it to you? Nah. Oh, how about you? You want some of this? You want some of this? Oh, no. He cursed me. I can't use any items. I can't even place torches. Imp, help. Thank you. I guess. Bees. Oh my gosh. My throat is broken by the end of this night. B-R-O-K-E-N. Broken. Because of how much I'm freaking out. Oh hey look. Look at this cool painting. Let me keep that. Curse man. By the way, we found another thing. Which I'm going to break this. And also get this Star Trek too. Uh, we don't have any golden keys again. We'll throw away these bombs. Oh, pink dresser. That's decoration. Oh, but what do we throw away for it? You will always be here to save the day, my friend. Okay, kind, kind of got a tiny bit more in inventory room. Gonna layer this so you know where everything is. And just to make sure that you know where everything is. Surrounded. And they're kind of easily findable. Like over there, all the way. Boom, boom. And they're nice, bright. At least decently bright at the very least. Oh, now they spawn in. Whoa, look at that painting. That looks cool. The twins have awoken. That's certainly not a foreshadow or anything. That's cool. Okay. Don't have it. I don't think I have. I'm going to see if I can open one more chest. And if not, I'm going to, I might have to plunder this in another episode. Like a two-part dungeon episode. Or maybe a three-parter, depending on how long this takes. Oh, no. Use your Arcalis, man! I'm not trying to do everything for you! Man, get a hold of yourself. So I make more torches for you, so you can see through your errors. Oh, I'll take that, though. Ah, I knew it. I had a feeling. Oh, watch. Or clock. Gotta take all these. Uh, dump this. Dump this. Dump this. Oh my gosh, the bees. I need them. Help. I gotta, gotta pick all this up. Uh, you. Uh, turn you on. Insert you. 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 Uh, the bones, that's more. Uh, did I have anything else? Oh, I inserted that. Uh, how about the dresser? Oh my gosh, they're everywhere again. We're fine. We got bees on deck. There we go. I also gotta throw that away. Pick this up. Uh, bones, that, and gold. So we can open up a nearby one again. It's gonna be our last one I wanna open up because, let's be honest, inventory space is an issue. Like, seriously. And also, don't even get me started on the mobs. Enemies. Everything. Everything that's there that causes a nuisance to us. So there's a gold chest down there, and I have hope that's something different. Something. Oh my gosh. Let me just get down here. The skeleton thing is rushing to us. Or at least skull. Let me get out here. Get out of his line of sight. I will take your loot, though. And by loot, I mean, I guess, small amounts of coins. Uh, people trying to protect him. Got the B-gun on deck. Open. Hey, a, f a handgun. This is basically a weapon. Like a gun. An actual gun. So that's pretty cool. Ending off on, at the very least, ending off on a new note. Saying that I found something. Wasn't what I really wanted as much. But hey. It's something new, and I will take what's new with happiness. Can I store any more things? Oh, I got water candles there. Okay, so I can take this, take this, and you know what? Take this to bed, and I'm out of here. Nope. Alright, I'm gonna do a lot of organizing on my channel, or at least off camera, I'm sorry. I'm getting pretty tired, but... 
If you guys enjoyed the, I think this is the 21st episode of Terraria. Yeah. If you enjoyed episode 21 of Terraria, please be sure to leave a like on it and also share it with your friends. And also, why not subscribe to the channel for more content of mine in general? And if you have already, or you're looking for, or you haven't already, or you're looking forward to, then be sure to hit the bell notification icon to receive all of my future notifications on this YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you in the next video. Hail the hype knees.